right, sports fans, let's get you set for the opening puck drop here at the 2022 Ontario Paris Sport Games. As we're coming to you live from Iceland Arena in beautiful Mississauga, Ontario. And we get you set for this game. Between the Mississauga Silver Streak, who will be wearing red jerseys going left to right across your screens, taking on the Elmvale Bears. They'll be wearing white going right to left across your screen. And we're just seconds away from the opening puck drop. And here we go. Let's get this game underway as Elmvale take the opening face off. And They'll start to work it up the near side wing. Trying to play the puck into the zone, quickly batted out. Nice job there by the Silver Streak defenders as it's picked up here by Floyd for Elmville. They try to gain the zone, a bit of a crash, and now they've got an advantage. Breaking in, Floyd shoots and scores! Oh my, what a start to this game! Ryan Floyd for Elmville. Picking up the loose puck and putting it home. And they'll take a one nothing lead just seconds into play. My goodness, what a start there for the Bears. So from the face off, let's see how the Silver Streaks react now. After giving up the opening towel, Jake Simmons, the goalie in net for Mississauga. And I believe it's Norm Cascaday getting the start today for Elmville. As the puck played out to the far wing. The Silver Streaks try to take it through the neutral zone, approach the attacking blue line and get the puck in deep as it trims behind the goal and the Bears will take possession. Battle along the wall as Behind the net, they dig away for it. Ian Keane there defensively, puck squirts out. And now Elmville will clear it out through center ice. That one will go down the ice. And that'll be an icing call against the Bears. They don't mind clearing the pressure because they've got the one nothing lead early in this game. First period of play. Got 10.54 remaining in the first. Face off will come just out, uh, excuse me, to the right of the goal tender. Cascade as they scrum for possession from the draw. This is Saga had Robbie Brooks on the draw, who initially won it back. Puck runs around to the far side ball as it's picked up now by Stefano Perry. Trying to play it in front, but Xander Hartley contesting now for Elmvale as they can't quite clear it away. Nice job to hold the line that time by, I believe it was Ian Stedman making the play for Mississauga, but now the puck out through center ice. And the Silver Streak have to make a play here under pressure as that was Xander Hartley fast in pursuit of the loose puck. Picked up here by Mississauga's Aubrey Clement, stripped away. So they are able to advance the puck in deep, where it's picked up behind the net. And now Elmvale starts to break out the contact there, but the pass fed through. All will go down the ice, and just enough for an icy call there. As nearly three and a half minutes into this game, we're playing three 12 minute periods, stop time. And it's the Elmvale Bears in white leading one to nothing over the Mississauga Silver Street. Getting some nice comments on the live chat thread. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering on. We'll get to some viewer shout outs throughout the broadcast. And of course, Parasport TV producing today's and this weekend's live broadcast will be streaming seven games of the 12 games here this weekend. Five of the games taking place on a different pad and just logistically unable to cover those. So we'll 
pick up seven of the 12 games, including the bronze medal game and gold medal games on Sunday morning. As the Silver Streaks pick up the loose puck in their own zone, ribbon around the boards, just gets out across the line as a battle for possession here between Lacido. Check that, that was actually Perry for Mississauga. Ivan Martin there for Elmville. They're skating the puck. Elmville trying to take advantage of that. Here to the near boards. Ricochets quickly. Both teams exchanging possession, and now it'll be picked up by the Silver Streaks. And they're looking to capitalize. This could be a two on one break here. Carrying the puck into the zone. Support joining, making the cross crease pass, and that one just out of the reach. Howick, check that was Carreri on the chance for Mississauga, but he had it slide away from him. Carreri now hot in pursuit of the puck, but it's picked up by Elmdale. And it's cleared to the line, but not past the stick of Protomani. As he tried to shovel that one in towards the goal. Behind the net, Mississauga maneuvering here. Carreri overskates it, and that gives Elmdale a chance to clear to the line, but no further than Protomani. Quickly fires that back in once again. As Mississauga take it off the half wall, make a nice cross ice pass. There's a shot right on. Great save that time. As the shot coming from the stick of Stefano Perry and Norm Cascanet equal to that test. As Elmville able to clear the puck. Out and now through center ice into the team benches and it'll be picked up by Perry for Mississauga. Nice pass as he finds Carreri into the zone. His shot, that one just missed. Good look there though that time for Michael Carreri as he was set up by Stefano Perry. Elmdale now breaking loose with possession. Streaking up the ice. Nice job to make the pass at the line as Mitchell Saunders set it cross ice and now Chad Stopa looking for it. And he just fanned on that shot attempt as picking his pocket at the last second was Protomani. Puck played around the boards and it'll be picked up just at the Mississauga blue line by the Silver Streaks. And they'll feed it ahead as Clements brings it into the zone. Aubrey Clements shot right on. Big save, big rebound, and the Bears are there to pick it up after the stop from Cascanet. And now the Bears working quickly. Floyd, he's got the goal in this game. He's trying to pick up the loose puck, does well to get to it first, and now he's got pressure on him, and a nice job by the Silver Streaks to clean the, clear the zone. Puck shot inside the Elmvale blue line. Looking for possession. Nice challenge that time by Clements. As the Mississauga effort unable to hold the zone, but they're quickly trying to regain territory inside the Elmville zone. The Bears pick it off, however, send this down the ice. And that one goes for an icing as Simon did have to be careful to cover the post. The whistle goes, and with a little more than five and a half minutes remaining in the period. The Bears continue to lead over the Silver Streaks one to nothing after that early goal to start this game from Ryan Floyd. It was a thing of beauty. And if that's any indication of the kind of hockey we're gonna see here this weekend at the 2022 Ontario Parasport Games, man, I tell ya, we are in for a treat. My name's Nico Cartarelli owner, founder of Paris Sport TV, and I'm happy to be here providing the play-by-play -play and of course the broadcast as well, as well, in conjunction with OSHA, the Ontario Sledge Hockey Association. But here goes Floyd Brownville, tried to feed the pass over, initially broke it up, but they pick it up one more time. Passed out front, as they got a little cheeky, it was Martin who thought he had a player in the slot, but it was picked off by the Silver Streaks and on the subsequent effort, they bank it off the boards and out of the zone. Quickly though, the Bears, right back on it. They fire that one in deep as Stopa sent that one behind the Mississauga goal. 
Picked up now by the Silver Streaks. They fire it along the wall and out through center ice where the Bears will hustle back for possession. As Russell Winkler gets to it for the defensive effort for Elmville. We have to excuse our sight lines here at Iceland. A little bit of a tricky vantage point that we're working with this weekend, but hey, when the passion prevails, we'll find a way to provide the screen. Even though there are some tight sight lines, we hope you're enjoying today's broadcast as we get a nice and call there against the Bears. So with 4.27 remaining in the first period, we'll have the face-off come all the way back inside the Elmdale zone to the left of the goaltender Casket Hill. Big save Norm, as his fans like to call him again. Keep those great comments coming in on the live chat thread on the feed and we'll be sure to get to some viewer shout outs throughout this game as here's a break potentially for the Bears. The puck getting caught up there and Xander Hartley unable to take possession and really make the most of the speed he had. As they take it out, nice work that time by Floyd. Mississauga try to pick it up behind their own goal. It's Jason Fournier unable to corral it. There's a wraparound attempt. Simmon there with the save. That's a good save for Jake Simmon and a timely one. The time winding down here in the first period. Elmville pick it up behind their own net. Martin rips it off the boards. Can't clear the zone as Protomani held it in. Up behind the net and maybe a chance here for Mississauga to corral it. As they try a pass back to the point, picked off, and now the Bears will look to transition out between the blue lines. Puck just gets away from the carrier, and on the second effort, it was Winkler able to send it into the zone. Mississauga end up with the block on their own clearance. Inadvertent, but Fournier comes up with it now. Plays it to the half wall, a foot by race ensues as swiping away at it and nearly clearing the zone, but unable to muscle it out. Was Wakelin, and now Altonville trying to take advantage. Puck over to the far boards. Attempting to bank it high, off and out. Once again was Wakeling. Couldn't clear it, but on the second effort they do. And now this could be a break as Clements picks it up here for the Silver Streaks. Nice move at the line. Takes the shot, it's a bit of a bouncer. The rebound there as Carreri crashes the crease. But big save, Norm Cascane. Coming up with two huge stops. To ensure that this Remains a 1-0 lead for the Bears. That may have been Mississauga's best sequence and chances of the period. But big save Norm Cascane, ensuring his team staying in front, at least for the time being. From the faceoff, they take it towards the net. A big rebound, far side. Oh, how did that stay out? Are you kidding me? What a block! Cascade was diving over, but I believe it was the defensive effort of Jewel Foil laying out the body and getting the block. It may have been Saunders as well. Just phenomenal defensive. Effort there from the Elmvale Bears to ensure Mississauga were unable to tap in the rebound after the initial save by Cascade. Well, I said just prior to that faceoff, Mississauga had generated their best chance of the period. That chance seconds ago was even better. Approaching the final minute of play in the first period. Remains a 1 0 lead for Elmville. So, with a minute 23 remaining to play in the first, we get the face off. 
They'll try to send Floyd up the ice with that pass out of his range and a quick whistle to get the ice in call. Ryan Floyd's got the lone goal in this game. He scored it just 23 seconds into play. And that's all the scoring we've got so far in this one. As the Elmvale Bears lead one to nothing here in the first game of the 2022 Ontario Bears Sport Games. Live from Mississauga. And they could be breaking for a late chance here. Going in all alone, it's a breakaway. Oh, just missing the shot was Chad Spopa. He had a golden opportunity to put Elmvale up 2-0. I'm not sure if Simon got a piece of it, if Simon got a piece of it for Mississauga and goal. Spopa may have just put it wide of the net. But Elmvale are still pressing here and they want to add a second tally. And Mississauga do well to clear it with Around 30 seconds remaining here in the first. Oh, Stopa was all alone in for the Bears and just couldn't find the net. But they may have time for one more chance. As Floyd, he's got the long goal, brings it in, splits the D, tries to dangle his way in front and buries it with 12 seconds remaining. What a goal, Ryan Floyd, his second of the game. And it's 2-0 for the Elmvale Bears. Floyd is a dangerous, dangerous man when he gets the puck in the offensive zone. And he showed you in that instance right there how clinical he is. What a goal, uh, what a moment in this game too. Final seconds of the first period. As Elmville dump it in, the buzzer sounds and after the opening 12 minutes of play, the Elmville Bears lead two to nothing over the Mississauga Silverstreaks. Second period of play getting underway shortly as you're tuned into the 2022 Ontario Parasport Games. As we're coming to you live from Iceland Arena in Mississauga. My name's Nico Cartarelli. As we are presenting the broadcast on Parasport TV in conjunction with the Ontario Sledge Hockey Association. Should mention that. The coaching staffs with these teams for the Elmvale Bears, it's Scott Martin, John Halleck, who's a player coach, Kai Ma and Darren Cunliffe, and for Mississauga, and coach Bob Stedman, Michael Simmon, Erica Arinci, and Dan Fiorino on the benches for the respective squads. As we get you set for the second period of play, the teams will switch ends. So Mississauga will be working left to right across your screen. Excuse me, right to left across your screen, wearing the red jerseys. And Elmvale will be going left to right, wearing the whites. A great first period of action. We're moments away from getting you set with the second period puck drop. Referee gets the action underway. And here we go, second period of play with Elmvale leading two to nothing. Both goals in that first period for Elmvale. 
coming off the stick of number 29, Ryan Floyd. But here goes Carreri in for Mississauga. Shoots and scores! Oh, what a beauty! He sniped that with the left hand, Michael Carreri. A man on a mission, and what a response from Mississauga. Just 27 seconds in, and they are on the board. That's how you come out and start a period. My goodness, Carreri won the faceoff. Had the puck back on his stick seconds later. And the Mississauga Silver Streaks have responded with a beautiful goal from Carreri to start the second period. Elmville. Trying to respond, dump the puck in, and this could be a break. Floyd picks it up, but oh man, tough luck for Floyd. He lost his right hand stick. You can see it there on the ice. I think he got a little too excited knowing he had the chance at the hat trick, and as he pulled back to release the shot, it just flew away. But here they go. Stopat tries the cross ice pass for Floyd, and that one just out of his reach. Floyd tries to track the loose puck as Perry defends him. Centered in front, knocked away, and out through center ice where Halleck tries to pick it up for Elmvale. The Silver Streaks get to it first. As they play it over to the near side wing, Perry trying to track it down. Light collision and picked up now by the Bears as Floyd plays that one cross ice and Stope out will try to dig it out of the Mississauga bench. Picked up now by Sebastian Neely as the Bears play it forward and into the offensive zone. Floyd at the end of a shift, a little tired, but does well to win that race. Centers in front, broken up, good interception that time by the Silver Streaks. As Baller unable to control it. Now Mississauga cleared down the ice, and while they try to hit the pass for Clements, it goes too far and all the way down the ice for an icing call just under 10 minutes remaining in the second period of play. We've got another game on the schedule for this afternoon. And as I mentioned a little earlier, starting with this first game, we will be streaming seven games live here, including the bronze and gold medal game at the 2022 Ontario Pair Sport Games. 10 different sports in action this weekend. Over 500 athletes competing. A true celebration of sport. As that puck ricochets in, my goodness! Are you kidding me? What a bit of trickery there by the Bears. As I believe it was Martin who played it from behind the goal, banking it off the defender. Simmons with no chance to track that puck. <coughs> and Elmvale have a 3-1 lead. So they retain the two goal advantage that they had to begin the second period after Mississauga drew one back just 27 seconds in. Now Elmville back in front by two. Puck cleared out through center ice where Clements picks it up for the Silver Streaks. Flips it over. And that'll be picked off by Mark. Unfortunately, there is no PA announcer in the venue, so we won't get a verbal confirmation on the goal score. I'm not third and four Elmville, but we will try tracking down after the fact. As Martin picks up the loose puck here. Clears it to the near side wing. Nice job to receive the pass that time by Hartley. And now Elmville starting to streak into the zone. Mississauga on the second effort. Clear that one down the ice. Don't know it's going to have enough for icing. It just gets there and the referee blows the whistle for it. 
the stoppage. So five teams competing here in the sledge hockey division, sledge hockey competition at the 2022 Ontario Parasport Games. Markham, Elmvale, Niagara, Mississauga, and North Bay. All duking it out for sledge hockey supremacy. And a chance to play in the gold medal game Sunday. And that goes live at 11 o'clock a.m. Sunday morning. So set a reminder and hey, make sure you subscribe and like Air Sport TV as well as we'll be covering all the action here live. 2022 OPG. What a play there by Norm Cascane as he dove out of his hole with the puck sitting there just outside the blue paint. As his defenders were unable to clear it, Cascane did so himself and there he had to make a smart save to the tight post. Carreri centers out front. Oh, they can't bank it home. What a pass by Carreri to thread that needle and he found the man in front. I believe it was Crawford there for Mississauga. Yes, it was, but he couldn't make it home. Carreri shot right on Cascade with the save. And then he sprawls out to cover the rebound. Getting the face off. Tremendous goaltending on display today from Norm. Big save, Norm Cascade in goal for the Elmvale Bears. From the face-off, Mississauga try flip it back towards the goal. An initial block by the Bears, and now it'll be Ryan Floyd already with two goals in this game, making the pass ahead for Chad Stopa. Gives it back to Floyd, working that far wing. Floyd tries to cut his way in, makes a centering pass through the high slot, but unable to corral it cleanly. However, the Bears do hold the zone. Nice job there. Shot attempt from distance gets blocked as that was Greg Taylor letting it fly. And now Perry tries to clear the zone for Mississauga. Unable to do so, the puck shoveled back in front. That attempt saved by Simon, he couldn't find the rebound. It was sitting there dangerously as trying to pick it up is Neely. I believe it was Neely with the first attempt on goal there for Elmville. And now it's picked up by Perry. This could be a break for Mississauga. Stefano Perry, what a back check by Floyd as he wrestles the puck away. And now Floyd off to the races. Let's the puck get a little bit out of his range and that allowed a partial clearance for the Silver Streaks as now Carreri picks it up in front of the Elmvale bench. Puck cleared to the near wall as the teams battle for possession. Floyd. A couple of players squeezing him tight to the wall, but he fed it through for Stopa. Chad Stopa releases that attempt, and a nice save there by Simon. He's got just enough to direct that one wide. Puck given away now. Stopa comes up with it. The scrum for possession is in there for Mississauga is Fournier. Couple more players join the scrum in the form of Taylor and Brooks, but now the puck trapped under the Mississauga bench and we'll get the whistle for the stoppage. With about five minutes to play here in the second period of play. This has been a great first game of action. As the Elmvale Bears and Mississauga Silver Streaks going head to head here at the 2022 Ontario Paris Sport Games. And you're watching the broadcast live on Paris Sport TV in conjunction with the Ontario Sledge Hockey Association. And a big shout out to OSHA for making this broadcast possible. As Martin brings the puck in, look at him wheel, taking it right on goal. Oh, he hit the post. What a chance there, the rebound, and it's in! Simmons was trying to scramble back in position.
position and he couldn't get there quickly enough. And Elmvale take full advantage after the initial chance by Martin rang off the crossbar. The rebound buried. And I believe it was Winkler who gets it. And Elmvale take a four to one lead. Russell Winkler gets the goal for Elmvale. And they are now starting to dominate this matchup with about four and a half minutes remaining in the second period. They have doubled their goal total here in the period. And who would have predicted that after Mississauga, the way they started this second period, scoring just 27 seconds into the frame and at that point making it a 2-1 game. But the Bears have answered back with two unanswered goals since, and my goodness. They are looking like a dominant, a dominant squad here so far in this opening game. Puck cleared into the far corner. It's picked up by Ian Stedman for Mississauga. His pass picked off by Winkler. Shot right on. Big blocker saved by Suing. The rebound. He did well to cover that up. That is a timely save there by Jake Simmons. They needed him to be big. He got the blocker out there, waffled it, and quickly covered it up to ensure no more damage. Face off to the right of Simmons as Ferrari draws it back for the Silver Streaks. And now they'll try break out along the near wing. Puck out through center ice as the Bears take control. That was Halleck. As it's played ahead now for Carreri. That shot attempt gets blocked. Puck out through center ice. As Gord Ballert has it. Ballard sends the puck in deep, right on goal. Cascanet there with the relatively easy save, but then nearly gives it away on the pass out to Carreri. Carreri just unable to handle it. Elmville clearing it to the line and just out, so Mississauga have to peel back on side before they start another attack. Now they find Carreri into the zone. Shot attempt, big save that time by Cascanet. Halleck there as well, and now Halleck picks up the rebound with the clearance, and he does clear the zone. Nice job there by the player coach, John Halleck, for Elmville. As the puck deep inside the Mississauga zone, Ian Stedman tracks it as it's played around the near boards. Elmville try to keep it pinned in the zone. It squirts out to the far side corner as Ballard gets to it first for Mississauga. Ballard passing it ahead. Clements leaving it. Touched ahead and now Carreri could be on a break here for the Silver Streaks. Michael Carreri trying to shield the puck away there from Martin who did a great job on the back check to tie him up in the corner. Martin and Carreri continue to battle here. Martin wins that exchange and Clears that one out through center ice. So a nice job here as we approach the final minute of play in the second period and the Bears continue to lead as they're up four to one. Back over to the far side, Halleck keeps it in. The Silver Streaks clear it out, changes on the fly there for the Bears as now Perry hustling after it. Stefano Perry tries to get the inside edge on the defender in Martin. Perry and Martin crashing into the boards. Martin shoveling it out on the backhand. And it's picked up by Neal. He couldn't quite clear it out. As Martin will bank it off the wall on the second attempt. And this could be a break. Floyd racing in on goal, but the puck 
across the goal line and it's an icing call against the Bears. As we're inside the final minute of action here in the second period of play. Game number one of seven on the live stream broadcast. You're tuned in to the 2022 Ontario Parasport Games Sledge Hockey Competition presented by Parasport TV in conjunction with OSHA. Mississauga win the faceoff. There's a shot attempt high over top the goal as Wakelin let that one fly. Perry digs it out of the corner. Shovels it right on, and Cascanet there with the save. And he'll freeze that for the faceoff. Well, give the Silver Streaks credit. They continue to press and generate shots on goal here. As the Mississauga Silver Streaks, of course, representing the Cruisers Parasport organization, who are a multi sport group that. And just phenomenal work here in Mississauga. From the face off, the shot attempt as Adam Crawford let it go, but he put it wide. And now the Bears maybe trying to replicate what they did at the end of the first period in generating a goal, but this time Floyd unable to get a clean break. Scopa and Halleck there, and we're gonna have a penalty here, our first of the game in the final few seconds of the period. And it's gonna be Ryan Floyd. I guess the referee feeling Floyd ran the Mississauga player into the bench on that physical exchange. Floyd obviously not agreeing with this call. But it'll be a power play coming up here for Mississauga with Floyd heading to the box. Perry wins the face off over to the half wall. Perry tries to pick it up. Over to the near wing, 10 seconds not even remaining in the period as the Bears will just keep it in their zone, take the time off the clock and the buzzer sounds to end the second period of play. And Elmvale have increased their lead after two as they now lead this game four to one. Stay tuned, third period action. Coming up next. Right, hockey fans, third period puck drop about to get underway. As you're tuned in to the 2022 Ontario Pair Sport Games. Keep the comments coming on the live chat thread. Let us know who you're cheering on, where you're watching from. We'll get to some viewer shout outs here in the third period. Let's get you set for the third period puck drop with the Elmvale Bears in white working right to left across your screen, leading four to one over the Mississauga Silver Streak in red as they'll defend the goal to our left, working left to right across your screens. And here we go, third period, we're underway as Mississauga win the faceoff. Carreri shovels it back to the point. 
where Ballert plays it inside the zone. Check that, it was actually picked up by Perry. A little bit of miscommunication there by Mississauga as they weren't able to get the puck in deep and now Halleck picks it up for Elmville. Only as far as Ballard, he gets it back and this time the Silver Streak send the puck into the far corner. Carreri, Halleck gets to it first, clears it around the boards but not past Ian Stedman as he holds the zone. Loose puck now picked up as Martin thought he had a clear path but he got bodied off the puck. Remember, this is a power play for Mississauga as Stopa picks it up with his team shorthanded. Floyd in the box right now for Elmville. The lone penalty of the game so far. Mississauga send the puck in deep. Carreri's gonna have to hustle to get there, but he can't. And it's an icing call against the Silver Street. So the faceoff will come all the way back inside their defensive zone. With the draw coming to the right of the goaltender, Jake Simmons. Again, a great comment from Kyle Schauer saying, I played for the Windsor Ice Bullets. Oh, hopefully wins are able to compete next year at the OPG as we get another icing call there against Mississauga. Of course, lots of great sledge teams around the province. Randy Brown and the squads in London there. Of course, the Niagara Thunderblades. Chaz Fisher will give you a shout out, buddy. Hope you're recovering and doing well. Stay strong, my man. We miss you this weekend. Of course, Chris Garner, who is, from what I understand, since retired from sledge hockey to focus on being a para golfer. And man, has he ever had success in para golf. But an integral member of founding that Niagara sled program. And lots of friends and familiar faces around the sledge community that may not necessarily be here this weekend, but we're thinking of you all the same. And please, again, let us know where you're watching from, who you're cheering on. We'll get to some viewer shout outs throughout the weekend. But here go the Bears. Shot right on, big save by Simmon. The rebound loose, and Mississauga able to clear that out as Floyd now out of the box. So the power play for Mississauga ultimately not yielding anything of substance and now we're back to five aside even strength hockey. Floyd picking up the loose puck at the blue line makes it over to the far wing where Martin picks it up. He takes the shot from distance. Good stick save that time by Simmons. He had to be sharp with that long shot from Martin. Floyd battling for it behind the net. Centers out front. No one there in white to corral it initially. Now played over to the near side wing. 9-16 remaining in the third. Elmville, Elmville leading 4-1 over Mississauga. And in case you're wondering, yes, Mississauga is the home team in this game. As the 2022 Ontario Parasport Games are being held in Mississauga. Don't think they'll be home for every game, but at least for this first one they are. As the players try to scrum the puck out along the near wall. The referees giving them an opportunity to play it out. Key in there for Elmdale. There's about three or four players from each team in there as a photographer trying to get some action shots here. Floyd cycling around. Finally, the puck fired out. And now racing over to his proto money for Mississauga. That's going to be a team penalty. Check that. They're going to call it interference. But either way, a pretty easy call for the referee to make there as the Elmvale player clearly cutting off the path of proto money for Mississauga. And the Silver Streaks will get their second power play of this game. Can't quite make out the jersey number. 
I believe it's Charlie Jewelfoil who will be the guilty party. As he cool off in the sin bin. And Mississauga take to the power play. Well, if they have any thoughts of pulling off a comeback, they need a goal now with the man advantage. But Elmdale clearing the puck up the ice, and here's a race. Nice job as Elmdale won a penalty called there. Martin now picks up the loose puck. It was Bullard making the defensive play to cut off the lane. And I suppose you could make the argument for interference like we just saw moments ago. But no call, and now Mississauga have it in the attacking zone as Carreri drops it back. Perry, nice job to avoid the stick check, and he's got it in the corner. Perry centers out front, what a save by Baller as he dove out for the interception, and then, excuse me, Cascanet with the save. And on the second effort, he was able to cover it up as well. Just about seven and a half minutes remaining in the third period. And the Elmvale Bears defending their three goal lead here while short handed with Jewfoil, Jewelfoil in the box. From the face off, there's a shot right on. Good save by Cascadet and then the rebound cleared to the near boards as the Bears try to clear the zone. Nice work to hold it in. Second effort, they get it out, and now Stopa has it. Chad Stopa going shorthanded. He's got a bit of a clear path, starting to get cut off. Stopa catches up to it, tries to find a man out front, but instead just wisely takes it to the far corner. There's the centering attempt, swiping at it, but a trio of red jerseys there with a the block. Stopa crashing the crease to try poke it through. Simmon with the paddle down, ready for anything along the ice. And now the silver streak get it out across their own blue line. Still on the power play. They've got to get something going here offensively. As Perry brings it into the zone, played it to the near wing. There's a shot attempt, it never made its way on goal. I believe it was Baller with the attempt. And now here could be a break for Elmville. This could be a two on O. Stoppa, oh, but Jewelfoil going in offside. And now Stoppa plays it. They couldn't quite time the zone entry. And a bit of a missed opportunity there for the Bears, but up four to one. I suppose they won't sweat that. Great comments coming in. Gottwheel says, I played for the Bears, just couldn't make it to the tournament. Well, we're sorry we're missing you here this weekend. Watching from Calgary, playing with the Calgary Scorpions from Reflection. And how about this for Norm's teammate? Wheel says, a man of many nicknames, Napalm Norm is on fire. I love that one. Yes, he is. Norm Cascade making some huge saves in this game. And he's been a big reason why Elmvale lead by three. Mississauga have generated some great chances, but just haven't been able to beat Cascade other than the one chance for Carreri, 27 seconds into the second period. Hustling back to pick up the puck is Wakelin. Centering it in front of the score! Oh, what a goal! And what a timely response there for the silver streak. As I got a little bit turned around, Wakelin won that loose puck battle, centered out front, and it was Robbie Brooks banking it home for a big goal to draw Mississauga within two. All right, so with just under five and a half minutes remaining in the third, Mississauga claw one back. And that breathes new life into this game as the Silver Streaks couldn't take advantage of two power play opportunities. But goals coming five on five and 
Well, they've made this final five minutes interesting to say the least now as Brooks, he just got the goal from Mississauga. He got bodied over, nothing doing as Clemens tries to pick it up. Centering out front, big defensive block there by Floyd with the backhand as that puck looked destined for a Silver Street player in the slot. Now it's picked up by Floyd. Floyd racing away, trying to get past Protomani. Floyd takes it to the far corner. Checking his options, draws it there, flips it out front, Simmons with the save on that sharp angle shot. Stopa tries to keep the loose puck in the zone, but it squeaks across the line. And now Floyd, he gets hammered right at the blue. And this could be a break now for Elmville. Stopa working the near wing. Drops it back for Floyd. Trying to peel off the half wall. Good defensive effort that time by Aubrey Clements to tie up Floyd. As Mississauga tried digging out with under four minutes remaining. But Elmail able to hold it in. Floyd, after the loose puck, does well to shield the contact. Stopa flicks it out front. But unable to get a stick to it was Neely. Elmville have it back again at the attacking blue line. Floyd on his stick makes the pass to Stopa just out of his reach. And he peels back and corrals possession for Elmville with under three and a half minutes remaining in the third. Far side boards, Martin. Tried to shovel it in front, nothing doing yet behind the goal. Martin picks it up, tries the wrap around, sitting there with the save. And now Mississauga pick up the loose puck. Mississauga unable to clear it out, second effort they do. And now Stefano Perry is trying to break away here. Martin hustling back. Got to it first and did well to hammer it around the far side boards. Winkler. Makes the pass, Jewel Foyle. Just over skating it. Carreri. Mississauga unable to get a clean shot away on that attempt. Elmvale crashing defensively, trying to maintain this two goal advantage. As that puck goes the length of the ice and we'll get an icing call. Just over two minutes remaining in the third period. What a game. And what a start to the 2022 Ontario Parasport Games here in the sledge hockey competition. Mississauga calling for a timeout. The bench gets their wish granted. And teams will talk strategy here with 2.16 remaining to play in the third period. You're tuned in to the Ontario Parasport Games in the sledge hockey competition. This broadcast presented by Parasport TV in conjunction with the Ontario Sledge Hockey Association. Elmvale lead four to two on the strength of two goals by Ryan Floyd and some stellar goaltending by Napalm Norm Cascanet as big save Norm has put Elmvale in a position to win their opening game here at the 2022 Ontario Parasport Games. Well, Mississauga Silver Streaks will pull the goaltender Simmons with 2.16 remaining in the third. So they'll have the extra attacker out there. And they'll be pressing for two goals late. Try tie this up, but Elmvale win the faceoff. Only cleared as far as the blue line as it was held in by Baller. Plays it over to the far wing. Perry picks up the loose puck. Tries to maneuver away from Martin. His pass ricochets behind the goal. 
Pereri had it, now he picks it up once again. Banks it off of Cascanet, the rebound. Oh, what a save! Are you kidding me? Big save, Norm, with the save of the game there as he robs Aubrey Clements, who thought he had shoveled it in along the ice. But Cascanet drags the glove hand along the ice and somehow kept that one out. That was phenomenal. A point blank reflex save by Big Save Norm. And man, did Mississauga ever come close with that opportunity. Under 90 seconds remaining in the third period. Mississauga keep the goaltender out for the extra attacker, Carreri. Trying to corral the loose puck. Clements there as well. Clements just robbed seconds ago by Cascanet. Elmvale unable to get the initial clearance. Martin hustling over to the loose puck. Picks it up, banks it off the boards and out through center ice. Stopa over skates it. And Mississauga pick it up as Robbie Brooks plays it out through center ice. Martin on it for Elmville. Maybe thoughts of going for the empty netter, but plays it safe by playing it back to Stopa, who in turn plays that down the ice. And that'll be an icing call with 41 seconds remaining. Wow, what a game. Off coming up to the left of Cascanet. Apologize for that little technical glitch there. But we are back and just in time as well as with the time winding down here. Elmvale trying to hold on to this two goal lead. 22 seconds remaining. Mississauga desperately. Trying to get the puck out. It's put down the ice by Elmdale. And Stopa's gonna have a chance for the empty netter. He shoots and scores, and that'll secure victory for Elmdale. As the clock winding down, and Chad Stopa gets the empty netter. And the Elmvale Bears are gonna skate to a victory here in game number one of the 2022 Ontario Parasport Games Sledge Hockey Competition. Simmon back in the goal now for Mississauga, but with just nine seconds remaining, puck shot down the ice. And that'll pretty much do it. Jewel Foil rest, racing back for it. And the buzzer sounds. And the Elmvale Bears pick up an impressive 5-2 win over the Mississauga Silver Streaks in the first game here at the 2022 Ontario Parasport Games Sledge Hockey Competition. Well, folks, stay tuned. We will be back in action in just a little while with another great game. Once again, the final score in this one, Elmvale 5, Mississauga 2. On behalf of the Ontario Sledge Hockey Association, my name is Nico Cartarelli. Thank you for tuning in to this first broadcast as we get you set for another game today. Looking for my schedule here. As the team's showing some respect here at the end of this one, a hard fought game that really did come down to the wire. And up next at 1.30 p.m. we will have 
The Niagara Thunderblades taking on the North Bay Icebreakers. So make sure you tune back in this afternoon as we get you set for that game. And we'll sign off here from the opening game at the 2022 Ontario Paris Sport Games with Elmvale taking this one over Mississauga by a final score of five to two. My name's Nico Cardarelli on behalf of the Ontario Sledge Hockey Association. This has been a live stream broadcast production by Parasport TV. Thank you for tuning in and we'll see you this afternoon. Thank you.